Hi all, in this video we will be validating the performance of lookup versus joiner. So to do that uh, we, we, we are having two tables source 1 and source 2. So these two tables uh, basically source 2 is just a replica of source 1. Both tables have uh, same number of records rather same data and uh, this table we will be joining together first with using lookup and second with using joiner and uh, while doing that we will use these or we will validate the performance at lookup and joiner with uh, these separate criteria so to start with so this is our source table source 1 and source 2 both are having same number of records that is 10, 10 lakhs each so we will just create a simple mapping first with first with lookup uh, with uh, default order by clause or default SQL query we don't specify any SQL query so create source 1 and source 2 are our two sources target will be staging underscore raw and to join these two sources sorry we don't want source 2 as the sources we create transformation lookup that will be on source source 2 Over here we will not specify any SQL override so Informatica will generate it by default we will save the mapping, we will create a workflow create a session task assign the new duplicator mapping verify the mapping and then once again performance message link the two task so just some definitions We have done with the mapping and workflow creation. Just run this workflow. Uh, before running it, what we'll do is target will do transit and reload. about this we run this sort of thing and now we will check the throughput of it it's running now 
We'll wait for some time to verify the exact throughput. Let's say for one minute. We we'll wait till 3000 rows. So currently 2940 rows has been read. Throughput is getting decreased. Currently is 80. And it's getting decreased. Okay, so let's say two for 2900 rows. And we use default order where the default SQL override throughput is very less around 50 and getting decreased. Well, about this question. What we will do is instead of default SQL override. We create our own and we don't use default order by clause or uh, we even don't give any order by clause in square over right there before square over right mm -hmm. save this we'll refresh the workflow nothing is valid save the workflow we'll rerun it again the performance now again 2940 rows it has read we'll see whether it's getting stuck here again So even in this case throughput is getting decreased gradually. Okay. Definitely it will go down. There is no improvement in the performance. Now what we'll do, we'll add order by clause by our own with specifying ID condition. Order by clause there. Then it read 2940 records. We just have to see whether it's getting progressed or not. Again, the same thing is happening. Throughput is getting decreased gradually. Even after adding order by clause on the lookup condition. Yes, it's the same thing. So, 
I doing that also there is no performance improvement actually now what we'll do instead of lookup we'll add a joiner so in the mapping As of now, the throughput is quite large. We just have to see whether records are getting progressed or not. So, source to the records are getting deleted. But still the improvement is not that good. Improvement is there definitely. But not as we have expected. Now what we will do is. Instead of the normal joiner. We'll add, we'll uh, change that joiner, joiner type to sorted input. So to do that, we first about and we'll we'll add two sorters before the joiner for each particular source qualifier. this data via sorter to the joiner so we will sort the data based on the id column which is a condition which is a joiner condition you can see 
the throughput throughput went beyond 50000 initially there are 10 lakhs of records in each of the source <coughs> we'll see how the throughput is getting progress so still the throughput is 47000 after 50% of records have been read as of now all the records has been read from the source qualifier now records are getting inserted at target level with throughput as 1800 which got increased now to 13000 4% almost 50% of records has been processed with throughput as 19000 so the whole mapping got completed just in 3 minutes so there is a drastic performance improvement so there is a drastic performance improvement when we are using sorted input joiner so uh, there is only uh, one difficulty when we are moving uh, any mapping logic from lookup to joiner is lookup will pass only one matching record suppose uh, let's say there are uh, more than one matching record then lookup will process only or uh, lookup will pass only one matching record ahead but instead of uh, instead of if uh, you use the joiner in that mapping logic the joiner will process all the all all records which are matching means let's say uh, id and one one join these two tables with lookup so let's say this is your lookup table so at target level there will there will be records uh, like 1a again 1 the lookup record is one either 1a or 1b and the second record will be 2b and the lookup record coming from lookup is 2b so there will be only two records which will get processed or which will which will which will get inserted at target level whereas if you use joiner then records will be 1a 1a is the first record next record will be 1 a and 1b and 2b and 2b so so if you if you transform the logic from lookup to joiner so these things you have to take care because joiner will join all the matching records whereas lookup will join only one or lookup will pass only one record okay so this is how uh, if you transform the logic from lookup to joiner you will definitely get the drastic performance improvement thanks for watching this